Hey guys, Biomanager here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. On the last episode, we got through the intro area. And in this episode, we're going to actually continue on with the game. Maybe get some real fighting here. Probably not. We're sailors. A little wind or rain won't keep us from finding our way to port. Bloodthirsty Aurelius, on the other hand, well, those we could do without. You say you saw a powerful sorceress weaving her magics round the ship. That it's her what saved us from the serpent's minions. I ain't believing what I ain't seen with me own two eyes, and I ain't seen no magic winch nor no serpent's minions. But that storm we had, that be true enough. If it weren't for our fearless Captain Hob, we'd all be rotten at the bottom of Rotano's belly. Don't ye go forgetting that now, eh? Awesome. I get to use my pirate voice. Oops. We got nothing important to say. I guess nobody else has anything important to say. So we'll talk to Captain Hob. Welcome to Limsa, youngin. If you're looking for an apology for the rough ride, you won't find one from me or any of my crew. You're here in one piece, and that's more than you were guaranteed when you were when you boarded me ship. I lost more than a few good lads to that infernal storm, yet here ye be without so much as a scratch. I'd say ye've someone watching over ye, and that ain't no bad thing. Especially if you're thinking of seeking adventure out in the wilds. I'm bound for the mizzen mast, or a field of ale and a soft bed await. You can follow me so far if you please. Why, yes. Yes, I will. Then away we go. Why, look what the tide's carrying in today, mates. Another fearless adventure. Uh, went too fast. Oops. Another fearless adventure. Newly come to this forsaken land to save us from our woes. The name's Baderon. And this most hospitable of austeries is the Drowning Winch. Now, I ain't got nothing against your type, but I feel it's me civic duty to tell you. Yours is no place for the light of art. What with slavery and beast men and power hungry imperials, I reckon ye'd be well advised to skip off to whatever boat ye came in on and ride her all the way back to your mammy's seat. 
my character's just like, oh, what's this now? The last since she's seen a mighty sea beast. <laughs> he ain't the first drylander to come in here spouting such bills, and nor will you be the last. Why, look what else the tide's carried in today, mates. And if this one ain't a pretty flower all decked in fancies, come to the drowning winch to play with to play adventures with me and me boys, eh? Boys? Or perhaps I'm in the wrong establishment. I heard I would find men here. Men that could provide me with information on a certain treasure I've heard whispers of. Ooh, a feisty one, I. I could tell ye all about the hidden treasure as could any of these scrags. Not a soul in leap, so what wouldn't want to get his hands on that there bounty? But here's the rub. Tis rumored to be buried on a tiny island by the name of Sea Rock. And ain't nobody but them grunts what call themselves Knights of the Barracuda or them scholarlies over at Milvan's Gate, allowed within 50 mounds of the place. In other words, not one of your boys has the stones to find a way past those obstacles and onto that rock. What a peaceful little town this is. Peaceful? This cesspool ain't nothing but a boil on Eorzea's arse. And it'd be festering with more scum than you'll find in me pub's privy. In case you didn't notice last, the town's crawling with pirates. And I don't mean the kind with parrots and eye patches. I mean the kind that like making what's yours theirs and don't mind cutting a few throats while they're about it. There's a war going on twixt rival factions. Rosswind and er, Sanguine Sirens against Carvaling and his Kraken's Arms. But each and every one of them looking to dispose of Limsa's new admiral and take the spot for themselves. Problem is, they're too busy ripping out each other's gizzards to get around to doing the chief himself. And we can't forget about them fishbacks, now can we? Sahagin and been breathing down Limsa's neck for nigh on five years. There ain't no signs of him letting up. What of the Empire? Why, they're just sitting up there in Garlemald, waiting for this city to burn so they can fly down here in their arrow ships and sweep up the embers. Surely the Garleans would not declare war on an independent Eorzean commonwealth. Those balls, lass. The Imperials declare what they like and re-educate them what think different. Any sprat on the spit knows that. You ain't from round these parts, are ye? You could say that, but I plan on staying, so do not think this is the last you will see of me. All right, now I'm in an instanced area of this pub. I guess I could talk to people. Unless you have information on the Empire, you may take your pleasantries elsewhere. Oh, she's real pleasant. Treasures of the Main. Now wait, where was I? Alright, young fledgling like you want to make a name for yourself in this epistle. Take me advice. Find yourself a guild and get to work. You be less than naught in this world if you ain't got guilt. And by the looks of your purse, not not it'd be a step up for you, poor sod. Let me see. Hold on a second. What's that you got there in your bag? Maybe look after all. You see, you found a fish flopping about your boat when that storm hit. Well, at least you had a half the sense to stick it in your pack there. Hmm. Maybe it'd be time you step out and see the world for what she'd truly be. A stinking maw lined with razor sharp teeth ready to rip your arse right out of your trappings. And I know just the place. Who does call her Camp Bearded Rock? Unfurl your map and I'll 
point you right wise. Can't bear to drop. Take more than a stone's throw from the Zephyr Gate. And before you go, take this ear link pearl. No strings attached. If you find yourself in trouble, just call on me on the Aether. Can't guarantee I'll answer though. Now off with you, I got casks to tap. Alright, so now we're ready to head out of the town. The town that we just got to, but whatever. This place is pretty confusing to me. Hopefully I don't get lost trying to get there. Even though I played the beta and I should know my way around fairly well. Alright, looks like I found my way to the gate. Once I get out of town, the lag should lighten up a little bit. I need to re-equip my Hermes shoes. I can use them. Oh, gee, they won't give me quickening anymore. That sucks. I guess it must have been a single use item or something. Look at my boss. Anyways, Camp Bearded Rock's pretty easy to get to. Let's go out the gate and follow this path. Final Fantasy XI would be like two zones away. I don't have to wait for this. Uh, to wait for the crystal to load. I guess in the meantime, I'll fool around with my army shoes. Crystal. Now I can't move. 